Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Arch here. This is their wireless home stereo speaker. This is a Bluetooth speaker that you can pick up on Amazon at the time of this video for $89. And I will have that link, as always, in the description below where you guys can check it out. Now, $89, you're saying, hey, that's uh, pretty high for a Bluetooth speaker, but this is a more of a home Bluetooth speaker, not uh, your normal portable Bluetooth speaker that you would take to, say, the beach or on a camping trip or that type of thing. This is more for something that you would attach to your Bluetooth-enabled TV setup in your living room or uh, your Bluetooth-enabled PC setup, um, that type of thing. It's uh, bigger than the normal Bluetooth speakers are, and it's meant to sit in your home and give you uh, really good sound in your home. So does it give you really good sound? Well, you'll find out by the end of this video. Now, if you want to check out Arch here, you can check them out at www.archeer.com or email them at service at archeer.com to find out more. Uh, they do offer an 18-month warranty on this, so you will get a year-and-a-half warranty uh, for uh, your purchase. So let's get it out of the box, show you guys everything that comes in it really quickly. I know that you're all here to hear how this thing sounds, uh, so I'm going to do the unboxing as fast as possible uh, to get everything rolling. Now they give you a couple things in the box besides the speaker itself. They give you a user manual which we'll go over in a second. They give you a carry and storage bag and as you can see it's a little bit larger than your normal carry bags that they would give with speakers and that's because the speaker itself is larger. Uh, so you also get a gold plated 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter aux cable because there is an aux uh, input on this to hook up uh, you know anything that doesn't have bluetooth uh, you know or if you just didn't want to use your bluetooth you could use the uh, this cable or any 3.5 millimeter aux cable to hook up to the speaker they also give you a USB to micro USB cable, which is standardized for recharging the speaker. The speaker itself has a 5200 milliamp uh, rechargeable battery in it that you will get up to 11 hours of playtime at 50% volume. So you get a, a really good amount of playtime. And obviously, if you wanted to leave it plugged in, you could plug this into something like an AC to USB wall adapter, and that way you wouldn't have to worry about uh, recharging the speaker or say you're watching a movie and you hadn't recharged it for quite some time and it just cuts out during the middle of your movie. Uh, so you could do that as well. Now let's take a look really quickly. We'll get this off the table. We'll take a look at the speaker and then I kind of just want to show you the user manual real quick. Sorry for bumping the camera there. Uh, the speaker itself is a beautiful speaker. They have wood grain. Uh, this is real wood. This is not, uh, you know, some sort of laminate over top of plastic uh, on the front here and also on the back. So uh, you're getting a very nice premium wood built speaker here uh, that also helps since it's built out of wood with how it disperses sound. Uh, and you'll see that in just a second. The midsection is in this nice fabric that goes all the way around uh, and on the top you're going to have your buttons raised in plastic here. Uh, it's got like a rubber uh, and you've got your po uh, power button here, you've got pause play, you've got an LED indicator and you've got your uh, forward track, reverse track, volume up and volume down buttons right on the top here. You are uh, looking at the front and, and when you're looking at the front you have two 5 watt speakers and you have a huge 15 watt subwoofer here that does excellent job at bringing bass to all kinds of music. I'm not even talking about bassy music. I'm talking about a very, very nice bass to everything that this thing plays. So that's really, really nice from Archer. Now you do get the Archer logo down here and they've kind of just etched it into the wood and it looks nice. I like that. So overall on the back, you're going to have your aux input, you're going to have a reset hole, you're going to have a charging LED and you're going to have your DC input, which is that micro USB. So I will turn this on. And uh, I'll show you how to pair it up real quick. It's very simple. You'll hold down the button until it blinks blue. And now that it is blinking blue, it is in pairing mode. So we will be ready to pair so that I can play you some stuff. Quickly, I'll just go over this uh, manual here. Uh, the manual is great. It does show you what all the buttons and everything do, how to recharge it, your aux in, how to power it on and off, all of that. Uh, your warranty again, 18 month warranty uh, from Arch here and some contact information, but they do have their specifications here and I'll leave these up. If you guys want to check these out, you can freeze this. Uh, it does have Bluetooth 4.0. The model number is A320. 
Um, 11 hours of playback at 50% volume with that 5200 milliamp battery. It's a 7.4 volt battery. Charging time uh, takes four to five hours to fully charge it. And your operating range is gonna be that basic Bluetooth 10 meters or 33 feet uh, that you always see with Bluetooth. Again, I'll leave this up if you wanna freeze it, if there's anything that you wanna look at as far as signal to noise ratio or frequency range. And we'll take this out of the way. So I have a Galaxy Note 5 somewhere. I don't know where I put it, but when I find it, I can actually uh, sync this up. Here we go. And it's super simple to sync this up. You're just going to want to go to Bluetooth on your phone, and you're going to want to scan. And it should come up in the list right there as the A320. So we're going to pair this. And the pairing is nice and quick, as you saw right there. We are now connected for media audio. This does not have a microphone built into it, uh, so you won't be able to do uh, speakerphone calls on it, but that's okay. The sound quality on this makes up for it. So let us play a couple tracks here. Let me launch some music, and I will play some tracks. Now that was just a clean track with not a lot of bass in it, and you can still hear that rich bass coming from this subwoofer. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to hear that like I did. Uh, and they did a really, really good job on the sound on this. The sound on this is terrific. Uh, Arch here did an excellent job at the design of this speaker using wood, uh, and just the overall sound uh, feels very rich on any type of music you play. Now I'll play more of a dubstep type track that's gonna have some heavy bass to it, and you're really gonna kind to hear some bass come out of this. So that was more of a dubstep type track with bass, obviously. You could see the subwoofer shaking on it. Just really, really good, solid sound coming out of this speaker. Perfect for your home. I think Artier did a great job on this, uh, and I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up. The things I like about it, uh, the design overall, the wood on the front and back, the even the uh, little effect that they have going around here with the fabric looks so nice. Uh, and the sound quality is excellent. Uh, the buttons are very responsive and easy to navigate. I didn't have any problems with that. Uh, the battery life, a 5200 milliamp battery with up to 11 hours of playback, that's just excellent. Uh, I, I really don't have too many cons to say about this. The sound quality is overall an excellent experience. This would be perfect, as I said, for your living room. This would be perfect to hook up to your Bluetooth-enabled PC and play video games with, listen to music, watch movies, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, they didn't include a microphone to make a speakerphone. That's kind of like a nitpick on my side. But overall, a thumbs up from me. Archer did an excellent job. Is it worth $89? In my opinion, I've reviewed a lot of speakers out there, and this one is one of the best that I've reviewed as far as sound quality goes. So I say yes, this is worth it with an 18-month warranty. If you're looking for something that you're not going to take out of the house with you and you have it in a centralized area, this is totally worth it. $89 with the fact that you're going to be covered under a year and a half warranty. The sound quality is just superb on this. So this was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this speaker, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll check you guys out on the next video.